This video is a guide to calculating the gravitational potential store of an object when you are given its weight and its change in height. This video assumes that you've already watched the video on work done. So let's start by looking at the equation. On the left hand side we have delta EG, where that triangle symbol is a Greek letter of the alphabet delta. Delta means a change in. So we have change in EG, which means energy gravitational potential, is equal to, on the right hand side, W times delta H, where W is the weight of the object and delta H means the change in height. So the change in the gravitational potential store is equal to the weight times by the change in height. Remembering that energy is always measured in joules, weight is measured in newtons, and height is measured in meters. Now you may recognize this as very similar to an equation in the previous video. We have work done equals force times distance. Remembering that work done is an energy measured in joules. Weight is simply a force, and height is a distance. And in this case, the height is the distance moved in the direction of the force being the weight. And so we essentially have the same equation, just written in a slightly different format. So let's look at an example of this. A crane lifts 5,000 Newton weight from the second floor of a building to the fifth floor of a building. Each floor is spaced 2.50 meters from the next. Calculate the change in the gravitational potential store. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which numbers we're going to use. We have our weight, which is 5,000 Newtons, but we haven't been given the change in height. What we've been given is a change in floor number and how far apart those floors are spaced. So we need to use that information to work out delta H, our change in height. So if the ground floor is at zero meters, we've got our first floor at 2.5, second floor at five, third floor at 7.5, fourth floor at 10, and fifth floor at 12.5. We can then use this information to calculate delta H. So we have that delta H is going to be the fifth floor, which is 12.5, minus the second floor, which is at 5 meters high. Meanwhile, we can replace the letter W for weight with our 5,000 newtons. Once we've done that, we have the equation delta EG is equal to 5,000 times, in brackets here, we've got 12.5 minus 5 where 12.5 is the height of the fifth floor and five is the height of the second floor. That gives us a change in height of 7.5 meters. So we now have delta EG equals 5,000 times 7.5 meters. So our change in the gravitational potential store is 37,500 joules.